Hi everybody, Bill Dennis, EOTProLive.com. I'm here to talk to you about CHOP. Specifically, our CHOP indicator, high-level CHOP. There's different kinds of CHOPs, low-level, medium-level, and high-level CHOP. We're most interesting, interested in detecting high-level CHOP. High-level CHOP is when the market oscillates enough to trigger your entry signals into firing. For example, on this screenshot here on the eSignal forum, we can see that right here where our e EOT high-level CHOP indicator was firing choppy when it's red, we can see that the indicators fired long and fired short. We don't want to trade when it's choppy like this. This is really what kills you. This is really what kills you. And so detecting this type of price action is very, very important to us and I suspect to everybody else as well. Here's another example right in here where price was oscillating to a point where it would enter you into a signal and then come down and stop you out. Again, our chop detection was able to detect that price action and and prevent you from trading. The high level chop indicator has actually been very, very good to us. Um, and is now in, a, in its next beta form, it's uh, adaptive and much more easily able to be put on other markets. Here's a screenshot of today where you can see real-time chop detection uh, earlier on where, where you have a more medium level chop here. And then some high level, higher level chop down here, more stronger oscillations. It's, it's actually done a very, very good job. It's actually done a very, very good job. Just like uh, it, it, it actually is, is pretty good because right here, as the market came down, we weren't choppy. And the market bounced back up, and there was no reason to believe the market was choppy at this point. Then the high-level chop detection started to fire. Now, if you were just looking at price action just with your eyes, would there be any reason to believe that we were choppy right at this point? Probably not, but as it turned, but the chop detection did a very good job of detecting this type of price action and kept you. If if we did have signals in here, it would have kept prevented you from trading. And then as we broke out to the upside, chop detection um, was good and and was telling you that we weren't in chop anymore. We entered back into chop into some low level chop here, and then broke out to the downside here where we had some uh, primary entry signals here. So it does a very, very good job, in my opinion, of detecting CHOP. Again, this is the, this is the new beta version here where uh, we're just currently in testing right now, which will be able for you to put it on other markets more easily, and, and you won't have to fool with so many inputs. There's also text that we have that uh, is along the side here, which tells you if you're in trend or chop. The text is the same as the indicator. So it's just a, uh, a written confirmation of what kind of chop, whether we're in chop or a trend. And again, uh, that's pretty much it. I just wanna keep this movie short and sweet. Thank you very much for listening to me about chop detection from eotprolive.com.